And welcome back everybody to the M.O. Sam Productions. Today we are back here with you with another Ark Survival printing on a baby blood crystal wyvern. For the next 30 minutes. <laughs> Just doing one thing after. How long do I have to actually do this? Uh, well, it could be an hour or two. Hour or two. Great. Okay. Well, that's one set of 30 minutes down. That also included hatching the egg, though. Um, it's awful quiet tonight. So yeah, yeah. You, you had practically every map on the server corrupt one map at a time. Yeah, yeah, basically. So what? Yeah, so. I got three primal crystals, so that should be more than enough to give that baby something to eat. Alright, how long does a primal crystal stay good? Um, let me see. Uh, it takes 41 minutes in my inventory to corrupt it, uh, or for it to just turn into a normal crystal, so... I say I got enough time to get back home and put it in the fridge. Um, does the fridge change it? Like, actually help? Probably will. I, I have no reason to assume not. It works on organic polymer, and fridges aren't supposed to do that, so... Yes, but organic polymer is organic. Organic polymer isn't supposed to be extended by cold temperatures. Uh, but it comes from penguins who live in the cold. You do realize that I'm talking as someone who's played base arc... Oh. I know how these things work. First, the fridge is never supposed to be able to hold uh, organic polymer or preserving salts. Because they fucking don't. So, does our fridge hold preserving salts too? Our fridge can hold preserving salts because it's an S-plus fridge. And S-plus fridges are far better than normal fridges. Well, it's too Simply cuddle. because they are designed with intelligence in mind. Oh, he's flapping his wings at me. Yes, so he cute. is, because you imprinted with him. Yes, I did. That imprinting will give you bonuses in health, damage, stamina, and weight. Yes, you told me this, and that's kind of why I want to do it, because all four of those are very useful. Especially uh, weight and stamina. Yes. Mostly stamina, because their attacks use up their stamina. You know, something that we could do... Uh-huh. If we both have access to a wyvern, it could be possible for us to go to extinction and... Charlie? I'm here. Okay, sorry. I'm having a little bit of client-side lag here on Ark. I actually had an uh, audio issue earlier where you were talking then all of a sudden all the audio went out including game audio and then it came back and you just continued yeah, talking where that. you were what do you mean yeah. don't worry about that yeah don't worry about that what do you do because it's clearly a you problem it, it yeah. really is yeah uh so anyway what i was going to say is we could go to extinction uh -huh. and attempt to kill the desert titan Ooh, that sounds interesting yeah Yes, oh, the I Desert a... Titan would Test actually shot. give us some very, very good uh, tech Ingrams. One that is so useful, in fact, that I am insanely jealous of anyone who gets it. Why is that? How hard is it to kill it? Uh, okay, well, let me basically explain the entire battle. First, you have to fight your way through a gigantic ass cave in the middle of the desert... Uh, filled with crocodiles, scorpions, uh, all kinds of poison and deadly creatures. Just really not a fun time to go into on foot. But if you're riding on something big and dangerous like a Giga, no problem. Walk in the park, because a Giga can walk all the way there. Then you have to put in these tribute items in order to summon the boss. Yeah. And once you summon the boss... Uh, it teleports you from the plinth where you say it back up into the main map. So, 
then this gigantic ass stingray looking fucker comes out of the sky and starts raining down lightning upon you and uh, chasing you around with swarms of angry biting uh, insects. And all the while, you are expected to either tame or kill this creature. Yep. So I actually turned down my GPU settings some, because it was like maxing my GPU in some cases. Yeah. And it's still really maxing. For you. I mean, older drivers. Mm. Yeah, perfect rain. It's raining, Charlie. I know. You know what it's raining? What? It's raining wyverns! I see this. Also... The rain effect okay, kind of so looks cool when I look into it. It almost looks like it's like spreading out like lightning. To yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here. Let me... Okay. So, I'm going to give him one primal crystal for food. Okay. There we go. And then I'm going to put the other two in the fridge. Did you force feed it? No, I just put it in there and he ate it. Because that's what they eat. I know, but I saw me. I just didn't know if you force fed or if he actually ate that on his own. Uh, actually, never mind. Primal crystals do not work in the fridge. Oh. So, so I will just give them both to you, and you can feed them to him if he asks for it. What do I give him when he gets hungry? Uh, primal crystals. That's all he eats. All he eats. Yep, that's the only thing he will eat until he grows up. Oh, okay. What does he eat once he grows up? Just meat? Yeah. Okay, good. Good, good. I really want to fly around Crystal Isles so badly. Yeah, well, you know, this is the price you pay for it. I mean, imagine how many fucking wyverns I had to raise. I know. <laughs> I really wish I had more of, like, a red scheme on him. That would have looked so cool. This white and blue looks Do you cool. really want the red scheme? Why is that? I'm Are just asking. asking. Um, it would look cool, yes. Hmm. Well, it would make them look sure. different than yours. I still haven't thought of a name. What are you doing? Are you yeah, admining this up? No, just looking at him, really. Just look. Yeah, you're gonna look at him so hard. Wants to cuddle with me. Oh. Gonna look at him so hard that he's gonna change colors in a second. Yeah. Hmm. I would say Amphros, because Mega Amphros is dragon type, but he's not a if he he's not a lightning wyvern. Yeah. <laughs> you it's just ah You like but, it better? That is actually really nice looking. That red, blue with the white head. He's not actually... what, he doesn't have a blue. There is no blue. No, purple, whatever color that is. No, is that's that black. Black? Yeah. It looks it looks like a bluish purple to me. Well, we can change it back then. No, no, no. I'm good. I like it. Okay. Well good. Enjoy I actually that, really like then. that. I should name him Rayquaza. <laughs> Rayquaza is green. Oh, yeah, true. And also a lightning wyvern would be more appropriate for Rayquaza. Well, yes, but I figured you would just get aggravated because Rayquaza is like the strongest um dragon. Or not the this strongest. This is not actually the strongest kind of blood wyvern you can get. What's the strongest then? The strongest is level 225. Oh, yeah, that's right. You said that. Won't, won't the level raise when I imprint? It'll just improve the stats. I thought his level was also going to go up once, um... No. Once he hatched. No. Okay. No, this is the level you started with. Okay. Just and believe me, it was a pain in the ass to get. Uh-huh. It was an even bigger pain in the ass to get my own level 225. I, I, I believe it, too. I didn't know his yeah, Zygarde was a dragon. would not get off the nest. So what? I didn't know Zygarde was a dragon type. Zygarde. Uh -huh. Zyg oh yeah, yeah, Z the Z Pokemon, yeah. Dragon type. Most of the legendaries these days are dragon types. 
Because dragons, legendary. What can I, you do? I don't think half of the legends in uh, Sword and Shield were dragon, at least. Eternus. The poison and dragon type. Not that bad. Wants to go on a walk. Come on, I, Charlie. I, I get know. I, hit the, I accidentally pulled out a cryopod, okay? Can you make sure... Uh, Charlie... Can, uh, can you make sure you set the short still? Yeah, he set the short because he's following you. Well, I'm way over here and he didn't move till I got way over here. Well, you are lagging a little bit. Now he's turning for some reason. Okay, there you go. I'm printing 1%. Now come back over here. Let me see. So he's at 11%, but he's only at 9% imprinting. Huh? Yeah, he's at 11% maturity, only at 9% imprinting. I mean, I'm, doing, I'm going as fast as it lets me, literally. I know. I, I haven't missed one. I know. That's why when you reach the very end and you've imprinted all that you can, I'm going to put in an admin command that fully imprints them. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see, uh, getting the balance with the maturation rate and the... Um, let me make sure he is actually set to... Nope, for some odd reason, follow distance went back. So how about you walk over there to that, that house? That, that's what I thought. I'm like, there's no way that sets a short. I said, I'm not lagging that bad, because I can see you moving around fluently. I can see all the stupid fireflies. Like, that's actually why I set my GPU down. Yeah, I am not lagging at all, by the way. <laughs> I'm really not either. Like, I see you moving around just fine. I'm not getting any GPU issues, no overheating, nothing. So, you know what would be an excellent thing to do? What, name him Tyrantrum? No. That wouldn't make that, any sense anyway. No, it that, wouldn't, because you already got a T-Rex named that. That's right, I did. I, I was sitting there thinking, I think I already have one. Let's tell scary stories. Okay. I'll tell one. It's super scary. It actually has to be from your life. My wife was in the hospital. The doctor said I can't screw her anymore for two months. Charlie, I'm actually being serious. That's terrifying. That's not terrifying, Charlie. That's just human experience. I know. You, do you actually not have a scary story, or are you just... just I don't have one, bitch? no. I'm just being a little bitch. Wow, that's... That's really fucking disappointing. I mean, your life is just full of these people who you say are just absolute maniacs that don't know what the fuck they're doing, and you have the balls to tell me that you don't have a single traumatizing and or terrifying tale to tell us. I've got a bunch of traumatizing things, just they're not scary. They're not or I don't scary. Find scary. No. Wow. Unless it was like a, a nightmare I had, at which point, I mean, it's not too traumatizing, but I mean, it's a dream at that point. I am apparently freezing. Well, I've had a scary story. Can you wrap your arms around me and keep me warm in this night? No, uh, okay. but I can do this. No, let, let, let's not do that. I, I'm good. No, I'm, 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 you sure? How do I crouch? That's how I crouch. I'm good. You sure? You, you, you sure that you don't... Uh, you sure? I'm good. I kind of don't want to die. You sure? What is that, a pike? Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah good. it's a pike. Yeah, I've got a crossbow, and I don't have a single bolt for it. You don't have a single bolt? Wow, isn't that a shame? Why'd you bother to make one? Well, because I thought I would have one. Yeah, that was a very strange glitch, the way your body just sort of evaporated into thin air when I chainsawed it. <laughs> yeah. With your whole inventory, too. Yeah, that was a little concerning. Yeah, I think that may be a glitch that happens sometimes, simply because of how fast the chainsaw works. I could believe it. 
a very effective method of killing. So I see that he has the feeding trough bonus over him. Ah, uh, yes, that means he can eat from a trough now, but sadly he can't eat anything in the that trough. Isn't... No, he, he can't eat anything in the trough because, well, he can't eat anything that isn't a primal crystal. Yep. Yeah, this thing can actually jump higher than a Carcanos can. What is a Carcanos? I oh, think it jumps so high, I can't, I, well, I can see it, it's just it's so dark I can't see it. You know, <laughs> why didn't I have a Carcanos out here? These things are nightmare fuel. Yeah. Y you have no idea. <laughs> Wants to be hand-fed primal crystal, so I open its inventory, right? No, 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 no. You put primal crystal, the one I gave you, uh -huh. in your in last head. hot bar slot. My last one? Yes, in your last slot, the zero okay. slot. All right, and then, yeah, and then press E. Yeah. I didn't know it had to be the last one. What was that flash? Oh, that was you spawning. I can't fully see it. Oh shit! Thing. Oh no. Oh, let's. Uh, uh, hey, Charlie. Fuck me. Um. You want to go for a ride? I'm so happy we don't play this in VR. I want to go for a ride. I would have nightmares hey, with you because I I would have nightmares because you, you you escaped the claw, didn't you? Uh, actually, you put me down. I think no, you escaped the claw. Sadly, one I problem that the... Arcanos has is it doesn't fly. So um, it if you clip through the ground while I'm holding you, yep. it just sort of drops you. Oh, then but there yes. we go. Much better. Out. I. Oh, there it is. I can pick things up with both hands too. <laughs> and I can throw. That's Would you not... like to be demonstrated for throw? No. Um. Yeah. Go. Go throw something else. Okay. Not me. Oh, fuck. I gotta be back in a minute. Nah. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not going to throw you. I'll throw something more useless. Should go uh, throw old ho ho over there. Why did you name my phoenix? Because <laughs> he did something. Well, considering ho ho is the rainbow bird, it would be far more appropriate to name a featherlight ho ho. But since you feel the need. Oh, sorry. There you go. I'm gonna die, probably. I am somehow alive. It's really hard to see my health. If I actually charged it up, I could send you enough to kill you. Yeah. Ten seconds. Gosh Carpet. darn it. Your nightmare fuel over there is running into me. should name him Mr. Krabs. You'd actually have to do something worth being named, Mr. Krabs. Wants to be hand-fed Primal Crystal again. Yeah, if you run out of Primal Crystals, um, just This is the last one. Up so. Yeah. You named him Gudra. Yes. That is an awful name for a blood wyvern. Sure. How do you tell his... That would be an appropriate to... name for a poison wyvern. But Gudra not a blood wyvern. Gudra is a dragon type. Oh, interesting. Gudra okay. is a dragon and poison type. I was not aware of that. So, wild ancestries are just straight up unknown. Got it. Yeah, because wild ancestries are completely undocumented, Charlie. You don't expect us to know the entire history of wolves, do you? Sometimes. I want to see your ancestries. You can't. That mask with your scars is just kind of terrifying, and the mask almost looks like it's literally on your face. Wait, I'm sorry, what scars? Those scars. Oh, I'm sorry, what scars? Uh, the scars of your enemies that you put on yourself. I'm sorry, for what scars? The, the scars of, of your battle scars that are trophies clearly of the enemies you defeat. Or you cut off their limbs and just stick them to you because you're so powerful and mighty. No! Why? Wait, hold on. So you can't get away. One minute. 
One minute. Okay. Wait, I lost you. What the fuck? I was just looking at you. Oh, oh there you are. Aha! And now I'm caught. I didn't see Very effective that. tool, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, you know what? I'm just gonna beat you. Ow! 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 20 seconds. Damn it. I sure do hope I wake up. Now I'll imprint him if you don't. Doesn't that ruin the imprint for me, though? No, it just it just ensures a general boost of stat. I have the setting on just in case you ever needed to walk away from the computer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. Wants get to up. go on a walk. Every bone in my body's broke. Thanks. You happen to go awful far. He's getting pretty big, too, and I'm just... Yeah, he is, and it's important to keep him walking, because if he stays in one spot and matures, then there's a pretty damn good chance he might start sinking through the ground, and you don't want that. Yeah. So he's at 17% maturity and only at 14%... Uh... Yeah. He's well, still set to closer into the house. Yeah, he's still set to to uh, shortest follow range. Yeah, you see, I think the problem is that he um, he needs to be able to know your exact location in order to follow you as a baby. Yeah. So when you're moving, he doesn't know where to follow to. That makes sense. I would also, basic. I'm very disappointed you didn't call this guy Moltres. I thought about that too, but whenever I think of Ho Ho, I always think of a phoenix because he has the sacred ash and sacred flame and sacred fire attack. That's why. I know he's the rainbow bird, but he's more of a phoenix than Moltres. Well, that doesn't reason. make sense, because I if know. Moltres is actually on fire, then how, how is he more? Uh, because of the um, sacred ash that he always drops and carries and the move sacred flame. You do realize that, he can, it, that Moltres can learn sacred fire, right? I don't believe he can learn sacred fire. Yeah, he can. <laughs> I want to say that was a ho only move. Really? Nope. Nope. It's a Moltres and ho oh. I once had an event Moltres that know that knew Sacred Fire. Yeah, you can't trust the event Pokemon though, because they'll teach him anything. I'm not like I'm not even lying with that. Okay, Just kind of like Mythic Teeny. I'll look it up. I'm actually already on that. No, I'm doing it. You uh, you focus on your tame. I mean, I got four seconds to wait, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you, you focus. Uh, wants to walk with me. Bulbapedia... Moltres... Yeah, they gave him a whole damn new form, and... Uh, Galler. Galler. I know. He does want to walk a long time before he imprints. Did I read that right? Oh, it, he imprinted and I just didn't see. Okay, that's weird. What? So he's able to use moves that... Moves that Oh, what? yeah, yeah, it can, it can use Mystic Fire, yeah. Not Mystic Fire. Sacred Fire? Maybe they actually changed the name, let me check. 
Because they have actually changed a couple moves names. Um, yes, I'm aware of that, but... Mystical oh. Fire, Signature... Okay, no, that's the move of Del Fox. Hmm. Well, can learn Hurricane. And Sky Attack. It can learn Leer. Of course it can. Anything in its grandma that has eyes can learn Leer. Well, that is so weird. I thought for certain I had a fucking Moltres that could learn Sacred Fire. Hold on. Maybe I'm looking at this the wrong way. Hold on. I'll search Sacred Fire. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Now I can actually see all the Pokemon who can learn the move. Okay, so Entei. It's Entei that learns Sacred Fire, not... Mole Trace. Really? I didn't know Intake could. Yeah. I know Ho Ho just knows it. Yeah, I can actually learn Sacred Fire at level 1. And Extreme Speed. Alright, so he wants Comfort Food. Which means I need to Cryopod him, because I don't have any Primal Crystals. Yeah. So how do I... What do I do now? You throw him the fuck back out. Okay, now what does he want instead? Primal okay, crystal. cry up him again! See, this is, the, this is the quick tip, ladies and gentlemen. See, whenever your baby's hungry, you just throw them in the freezer for a little while, and they'll ask for something else. <laughs> Or food? Yeah. Apparently he really wants some Primal Crystal. Cryo him again. You know what? I'm going to go get us some more Primal Crystals. I was saying, it actually I won't didn't... let me. Uh, yeah. There, now it is. Yeah. So Apparently go his find tail is another... long. What? Apparently his tail is long enough I can't. Like, I'm actually too far against his tail to uh, be able to do anything with him. Yeah. If I'm behind it still. So do I just put him in the freezer for now? Uh, you can just hold him for now while I go find a wyvern. I'm going to put him in the freezer and I'm going to fly for a few seconds while you're doing that. That way if I happen to have Please an accident... Please try not to fall to your death. Yes, but that's also why I'm putting him in the freezer. Okay, I found a <laughs> 150 ember crystal wyvern, so... Yeah, I'm gonna try and knock that out. I just wanna look around for a second. I see you flying around. I hope that's you at least. On the bone wyvern? Yep. What are you flying around on? Uh, Skybax. Oh, okay. I thought that a reddish mountain was like a volcano. It's just a bunch of trees on it. There's vol- you know, no, there is lava over here. Is it? Yeah. In, in the big red forest? Yeah. Oh, okay. But there's also a lot of water, too. Yeah. So oh, everything like just turned it. red. Yeah, it turned red because you entered the red biome and it's getting evening time. It stayed red when I left. I mean, it's a cold tent, don't get me wrong, but now I can't see hardly anything. Like, I'm, I'm not getting too far from our house. Okay, now it's back. Oh, fuck. I completely left all my damn narc uh, trank arrows. Gotta go back. You know what? No, this isn't the right tame to be tranking out wyverns. What, what the hell am I thinking? Is this can't deep water from down the here? Back of a wyvern. Uh, yeah, down below the tree line, yeah, there's water. No, deep water. Oh, there's deep water below the islands and stuff. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Yeah, just be careful where you land, because there I'm is a gigaspawn down here. 
I'm actually not landing anywhere near there. Uh, anywhere I land is going to be right here on top of our island. Until then, we hope that you have enjoyed this, and we will see you in the next episode.